Hi everyone, and a very warm welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into a fascinating new model known as Eddie's Wan 2.2 Plane Genesis. This particular model boasts a versatile array of functionalities, specifically encompassing text to video generation, image to video conversion, and both high insight and low insight capabilities. Throughout this comprehensive video, our primary objective is to thoroughly test each of these distinct functionalities. Furthermore, I will be providing you with the complete workflow necessary for utilizing both the text-to-video and image-to-video aspects of this model. Therefore, I strongly encourage you to watch this video in its entirety to grasp all the nuances. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel as your support is invaluable. Additionally, a like, comment, and share of this video with your friends would be greatly appreciated. For those users operating with systems that have lower VRAM capacities, it's important to note that there are specialized GGUF models available. These GGUF models are specifically designed to be more resource efficient, making them an excellent option if your system has limited VRAM. You can readily download these models to ensure smooth operation. Here, I'm showcasing a few illustrative examples generated using the GGUF model. As you can observe, it effectively handles both image to video conversions, demonstrating both high and low insight capabilities. Moreover, it also supports text to video generation, which I will now demonstrate for you. This particular segment illustrates the text to video functionality. It showcases both the low and high noise settings, providing a clear comparison of their respective outputs. Now, let's delve into the workflow itself. As you can clearly see, we are initiating the process with the text to video module. For this demonstration, we are employing a resolution of 786 pixels for both height and width, and the generated video will consist of 61 frames in length. The sampler we are currently utilizing is UNIPC 9SHIFT, configured with four distinct steps. Additionally, this setup incorporates interpolation, which contributes to the smoothness of the video. The resulting video, as you can attest, appears quite impressive. So, this is the image to video module in action. We are taking this particular individual right here as our source image. 
For this demonstration, I am utilizing the high noise setting, specifically the fixed one, which is the latest iteration. And here, you can observe the low fix setting. I am generating 81 frames with a resolution of 512 by 512 pixels. I am performing this operation on an RTX 4090 graphics card. The prompt I've provided is, a heartwarming woman playfully picks up a teddy bear that turns into a Josie, like magic. I was particularly keen to observe how the model would interpret and render this magical transformation. This is the result. So this is, the video looks pretty decent. So as you can see, the teddy bear turned into a mini IX t-shirt, so it looks pretty good. It might be blurry because I'm using 512 by 512 for height and width. If you want better results, you can choose 1024 up to your VRAM as well. So this interpolation one looks pretty good. So as you can see, no lags, the FPS is better and everything Okay, so now this is the third one. The high inside, the low inside weight, this model. Okay, so this model has the same workflow, just the model. I have changed it. That's it. Or this is everything else is the same, or the prompt is the same as well. So I just wanted to check this. That's why I kept the... Okay, so this model has the same workflow, just the model. I have changed it. That's it or this is everything else is the same, or the prompt is the same as well. So I just wanted to check this. That's why I kept the same prompt and same image so you can judge which one is better. So on the right one is the uh, fixed one, the previous one, previous model. So let me just keep this on repeat and you guys can, I'll check it out with which one looks better. I think the left one is a bit more smoother than the right one, but still it's up to you, whichever you guys like. Okay, so let's try a few more examples. So, well, I've changed it to unIPC again. I'm using four steps again. I just forgot to do this. And now let's check the results. And it took me around five minutes in the RTX 4060 for the OK six steps. And the four steps were for three and three minutes around. So as you can see, this is DPM++. So this one looks the... As you can see, the bear got stuck and he waved it. And I like this one, you guys. Get it. Okay, so I'm using 512 by 512 now, as you can see. Uh, okay, so this is the interpolation one. Yeah, so if you guys like this video, then please do like, comment, and subscribe on our channel. Okay, I'll provide the links in the description of my Patreon page. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.